Hey, this is Matthew with Swordslinger Custom Holsters. Uh, this is part two of my uh, video on the UV5R Mini that was sent to me by Radiodity to do a review on. And we have it here, the UV5R Mini and, Mini and part one, we talked about the size comparison compared to some other HTs. And uh, we're going to go through some of the menu settings on this. So I did want to let you know that uh, this has many features, uh, many more features than the regular UV 5R. In fact, it's like a, a completely different radio, even though it does have the same name with the um, Mini added to it. So I'm going to turn the radio on here, and this is going to be a multiple part series here. And let's see, uh, we see there that we have, let's see. You go through the different settings. I have it programmed with different repeaters and so forth in the area. My biggest complaint so far is it doesn't have a brightness setting on the uh, the screen. Uh, it does have dual watch though. You have uh, we'll talk about that here in a minute. And I hope you all can see that screen there, the settings. So we're going to go through. Let's see here. Um. So there. Going to hit the menu button button right here, so let's back up so you can see me do it. Menu button, and then we have at the top we have the scan option, which is really neat because a lot of radios don't have that, where you can actually scan. So let's say you hear a a, a repeater off in the distance, and you don't know what the the the, uh, the CT code is or whatever, and the tone. You can actually hit this button here. Let's go, let's go back there. And you can scan the frequency, scan mode, scan memory, and you can do that. And we'll do another video where we try that out. Then going down to radio set, that's the radio options. Click on that one there, and you see you have the step function to set the step of the frequencies. You have squelch. So you have your squelch levels there. You have one through nine. You have your power save option, function. You have the Vox switch on and off. You have the Vox level. You have the Vox display there. You have the TOT function. You have the TOA function. You have the voice, that annoying voice. Um, we, we always turn that off. I turn that off as soon as I get these radios. You can select the language, the Roger beep. There is a Roger beep. So you can do your Roger beep. Let's see. Uh, it does not have more than one option for a Roger beep, but I don't care for Roger beeps normally. Sometimes they're useful, but I always turn that off. And let's see here. The beep, I turn the beep off too. The backlight, so you can set up your backlight. But like I said, this doesn't have a brightness, doesn't have a brightness function, which I didn't even realize until I came outside to do this video. But I was going to go inside and do it, but I'm like, well, you know, most people are going to use these radios outside. So let's just go outside and do the radio video. And you'll get to see that that is a downside. Now, I can see it much better probably than you can, but... It is a downside to it. Okay, then we have the you know the power image. You can do the voltage. Dual watch, you can turn that off and on, where you can listen to more than one frequency. Auto lock, you have that function there. You have alarm mode, which I don't know anyone ever uses alarm mode, but it's there. The alarm tone, the antenna function, the DTMF-ST function, the PTTID function. PTT DLY, the alert, your tail. And let's see here. Then, okay, then you have your, you can program this button right here. So you have your little light, you can, oh, I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry, you can program this button right here. So this is a programmable button. So right now, as you can see, we'll go back and we'll check it. Let's see. Okay, so right now, Oh, no, I was wrong. I was wrong. It's programming this button here. So it's right now it's programmed to FM radio, but you can also program it to do the search or the scan or the Vox mode. You can do it for the, uh, the uh, light SOS mode. Um, so, for example, let's set it up for the lamp. So we select that. 
Okay, now let's go back. And you hit that button. There, your little tiny Chinese flashlight comes on. And there's the SOS function if you wanted to do that. Um, let's see here. Let's go back to radio set. Let's see. So let's go back to the top. Okay, let's say you wanted to set it up for FM radio, which this thing does have FM radio, which most of radios like this do. Let's say you want to listen to some tunes. You go over here, you click this button. There you go. You can listen to the FM radio. And let's go back here. Let's see. Make sure we didn't miss anything. And then you have your reset button, and that is it. And that... Now, you also have your program channels. You can program your radio much easier with this function here. Program channel name. You can actually type it in and change it. That's very uh, handy. Your um, RX frequency, TX frequency, transmitting power. You can go in here and change your transmitting power, your bandwidth, wide or narrow, your CTCSS or your DC tone and so forth. Uh, encryption. You know what? I haven't tested out the encryption yet. I uh, saw that in there and I kind of forgot about it. I'm going to have to look into that and see how that works. Maybe follow up on that on part three. Um, let's see here. Your channel. Let's see. Scan, add, busy, lockout, uh, transmit power. Okay, we're back to the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to have to check on the encryption and signaling and see if I understand what that is. So we'll, we'll follow up on that on part three of this, uh, perhaps when we do some range test on this. And then you have uh, your wireless CPS mode. We'll talk about that in the next part. And then your radio info. And you see there you have your firmware and uh, hardware. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it is not that complicated compared to others. Uh, this programmable button, you can program in Chirp. And you can see the antenna. It actually comes with a smaller antenna than your regular UV5R. Which, I mean, the neat thing about this is it's so tiny, you can throw it in a small bag and have a, uh, a handy talkie. And I do, I mean, I realized in the last part, you know, we were comparing it to the UV5R in size. And this is a little thicker than the UV5R, but it's narrower, um, which makes it feel better in the hand. I don't know. It just it feels different than the UV5R in that capacity. So, um, I mean, it just uh, feels really good. Uh, it does feel a little hefty, too. I mean, it just feels like uh, you could throw it around a little bit without breaking it. Oh, and I forgot. It has a USB-C charging port in the back. Very, very good. Um, the UV5R does not have that. Uh, you have to buy the upgraded battery in order to get that. So hey, let me go ahead and take the battery off again, unless, in case you didn't see the last part, to see how thin this radio is compared to the UV5R. And the battery makes up most of it. Now, if you don't remember in part one, we talked about the, uh, the battery. It is a 1600 amp hour uh, battery, which is smaller than the regular UV5R, which is 1800. And then um, one thing I forgot to, to mention also is um, um, you've, um, Radiodity sent me two of these to review, and we're going to do a range test in the next video. But in, in, the, uh, in the package, it came with your regular antenna, your power cable, a lanyard, the belt clip, instruction manual, um, just your normal stuff. And uh, in the next video, we're going to do some range test with both UV5Rs and their, um, how you get them from Amazon or wherever you order them from with the stock antenna. And then we'll play around. We'll, we'll change out some antennas and see how they work. So anyway, that is part two of the uh, Baofeng UV5R mini video. Stay tuned for part three. We'll do some range test and then talk some more about this radio. Thanks for watching.